Welcome to this video tutorial on window management in Power Simulator. Since the Power Simulator uses multiple windows at once, the ability to manage these windows will enhance your overall experience. This tutorial will go over some tips on window management. The first Power Simulator window that you have is the session window, which has both the controls and the system log. This window is a very important source of information with the listed simulator time, charting, and log messages following control actions. Now let's open a system map. System map is like a special version of the one-line diagrams. A lot of the same navigational features are common such as zooming and the ability to drag the map around. Since system maps are typically large, you'll often want to maximize the window within your screen. For the system map, the higher monitor resolution, the better. Multiple windows can be opened up from the session window. Throughout the course of using the simulator, you will be opening multiple one-line diagrams and have other windows open like the system map. Each window can be resized and moved around as desired. One common configuration is to use half the screen for a one-line window and the other half for the system map. Alternatively, the system map can be full screened and the one-line diagram called up as needed. When opening up lots of one-line diagrams, you may lose track of where they all went after navigating the system and minimizing them. Instead, try to make use of the station diagram drop-down menu to easily flip through stations on fewer windows. With this approach to organizing your windows, you can navigate the system quite effectively even with only one window. An enhanced setup with multiple monitors allows you to devote one whole monitor just for the system map. Take some time to experiment with some window configurations until you find one that is comfortable for you. Good luck and thank you for watching.